important part of the 1929 Orpheum Theater was the wonderful Wurlitzer Theater Organ. The restoration of the theater had to include the theater organ. First opened in 1929, it was known as one of the most elaborate movie palaces in the country, complete with stars and clouds floating across the ceiling. But over the next decades, that star quality would begin to fade with the changing times. It truly became a citywide project in 1988 when voters in Phoenix approved $7 million for the restoration of the theater in the 1988 bond election. Here the stage becomes a staging area for the theater organ assemblage. In the organ chambers, the structure begins to take shape. These shutters are controlled by the organ performer as he plays. This is the toy counter, so called because it includes the drums, cymbals, xylophones, tambourines, sirens, all the things to bring life to the silent movie, even contemporary music. Hundreds of hours of many crafts were volunteered by the chapter members and others, all with the love of theater organs. Those pipes that you're playing with, I mean, you're cleaning, came out of the organ that was in the Tucson Fox Theater, which building is incidentally still standing, and the city down there should do what this city has done, what Phoenix has done, and uh, buy it and restore it, because that's their only movie palace remaining, just like this is our only movie. We began this about a year ago and working amongst the dust when the theater was being renovated and now we're into the process of uh, putting together the instrument as, after it's been refurbished in the warehouse. Uh, we're standing in front of one of the uh, chests, one of the chests which uh, holds about, uh, well we say about uh, eight ranks here. There is another chest on the other side higher up, which will have about another seven ranks in it. So basically, when we finish with the instrument, there'll be 30 ranks in the organ, both in this chamber, the solo, and in the main chamber on the other side of the stage. Uh, the parts uh, that are going into this have come from many different theaters, uh, some from the Center Theater in New York City, Radio Center, uh, some from the uh, Tucson Fox, the Phoenix Fox, the, uh, some of the string pipes are from the Mormon Tabernacle in Salt Lake City, uh, and I believe some of the uh, original pipes out of the uh, original Orpheum Theater will be installed. In fact, the blower for the organ, the main blower, is one that was originally in the Orpheum and has been refurbished and will power it. Uh, along with a supplemental board. What we have here, as you look around, uh, you see a lot of electronics now in the theater organ. And uh, this is necessary because in the early days of the organ, everything was powered by wind. And we have more or less eliminated the wind part of the uh, switch system and gone to an electric, electronics uh, system. The signal from the console, all the stop tabs on the console which control the voices, those are electric switches. The electric switches when they're uh, depressed will send a signal to the computer which in turn sends a signal to this driver board and through the system of relays it tells what pipe and what note to play. And so it's much more reliable it's faster, um, it's state-of-the-art, and also the fact that as the artist plays the keyboard, 
his, as he keys the different keys, the computer remembers how he keyed the key. And therefore, you can go back and turn the computer on, and it will play the instrument exactly the way the artist played it, uh, with all the blurbs or, or all the expressions. And uh, this is a great feature when you run tours through the theater, that they uh, will give them the capacity that they can turn the organ on, even though it's buried in its garage, and hear the instrument play. And uh, every sour note or every cipher or whatever will be duplicated. All of the more than 2,000 pipes collected from many sources, some from the original Orpheum organ, had to be repaired meticulously, cleaned, and tuned. from the smallest pencil size to these giants. Sorry, did you hurt yourself? Okay, good show. Watch your light, it's all right. It's okay. Okay, now we're all right. Well, Tom, you go up and keep her from twisting. A walk down memory lane. I'm glad they restored it instead of just let it go because this is elegant, don't you think? This is fantastic. It's fantastic. It looks like a lot of work, um, but I think it was worth it. Um, and I'm glad they didn't tear it down. Thank you for all of you attending here this evening. It's been a real effort on the part of a lot of, of our chapter members and volunteers to place this instrument here in the Orpheum Theater. Uh, we've had uh, those of us with our wives who have become worlds or widows. The instrument that is here in the Orpheum is the result of contributions from the public. The, uh, there was no money placed uh, with us for the organ from the city. This is purely a volunteer effort of the chapter, and the results are what you're hearing here this evening. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to the keyboard, Mr. Lynn Larson.